Hi everybody, Daniel here. Hey, today I'm going to do a video on highly logging whistle signals um, using the WAC codes from online and you're going to see these whistle signals in every LNI manual you look at. You can t easily type it in online in a Google search for instance and you'll see that it's um, just a, a baseline of whistles for logging practices and I'll start out with this thing. This is the Talkie Tutor transmitter. It has a NICAD battery inside with a mercury switch and it is linked with a yarder receiver and they run on the same frequency and every yarder or yarding machine is going to have a transmitter and receiver box or multiple transmitters that run a different frequency from the next yarder so that if say you've got yarders close together you don't have one rigging clue, uh, crew blowing whistles and it crossing over to another logging crew and messing up their yarding sequences and all that stuff. Um, so how this works is it's got a nylon belt and it's worn on the rigging slinger's side. I wear it on my left, some people wear it on their right, doesn't really matter. And basically how this works is uh, antenna and there's a microphone on the end for talking to the yarder engineer. When held down, press this, and you can talk into the bottom. When you hold it upright, the mercury switch is engaged, and you get whistles, just like that. Pretty simple. Now when I do these whistle signals for you all, I'm going off of a list on my computer that's off to my right, and I'm not going to be looking at the screen the whole time. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to give you whistle signals that are directly in line with what you're going to find in an LNI manual or online so you can read through it <clears throat> and you'll see that I've gone word for word line to line and nothing deviates from that so I'll get started here so for one short that is stop all lines to go ahead slow on your main line is three and three. To a head on main line is three. A head on haul back is two. A head slow on haul back. A head on straw line. A head slow on straw line. Three, one, and three. To slack the main line is four short or more. To slack the haul back is two and four. To slack the straw line, three, one, and four. For a standing tight line, three and two. So, <clears throat> tight line while lines are running, or if you want to break a tight line while it's running tight, is a short and a short. When the rigging in is in and you want the straw line back on the haul back, it's going to sound like this. Three. When the rigging is in, and say you want four sections of straw line back on the rigging, it's going to sound like this. Three short plus four short. If you want the straw line back on the rigging when the rigging is in, it's going to sound like this. When the rigging is in and you want the chaser to inspect and repair the rigging, just give them one short. When the rigging is in and you want no chokers back, give them two short. You scroll down here, crew. So, <clears throat> if I want four chokers back when the rigging is in, it's going to sound like this. Two and one plus four shorts. When the rigging is in, I want to slack the haul back and hold all lines. It's going to sound like this. 
2 and 4. Now, when I want the haul back sent, if I want the rigging sent back, I'm going to give them two. And that's going to tell them, okay, guys, um, I'm done with you holding the lines. If I want the hooker, it's going to sound like this. If I want the hooker and that crew, it's going to sound like this. Three and four. For a climber, it's going to sound like this. Five long. And a foreman is going to sound like this. Four long. To start or stop work, it's going to sound like this. Long and short. And persons injured, call transportation and a stretcher. It's going to sound like this. Seven and two. Sorry, seven long, two short. <clears throat> For a fire, it's going to be a long and a short repeated. And I'm not going to long and short, long and short, long and short, but it's going to be like this. So you just keep going long, short, long, short. Grabinski system, to slack the main line and the hall back together, it's going to sound like this. Two and one. To take off or put on the rider block, it's going to be too long. So, I just want to throw this out there that um, all logging crews are going to be a little bit different in the whistles. And just for instance, um, when I worked for a crew and we were using butt rigging um, with a rider block when I wanted them to stop the rigging I'd give them one and then I, when I wanted them to slack the haul back and the main line together down for me I'd give them another whistle a single and then when I was done with my slack I'd give them a stop and um, it'd just keep on going if I wanted more slack I'd give them a, another whistle uh, and then when I wanted to stop, I blow them a stop. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you being here. Check out my top subscriptions on my main page. Take care. Thanks again. Bye now.